Hey everybody, Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Elgu Saturn, the initial setup and build plate leveling, and then going through a couple prints I've done and let you know my feedback. Let's get to it. The printer was well packaged in a custom foam box. The box of tools was on top. Once I pulled that out, I could pull the Saturn out. And there was more custom foam around the Z-axis. The build plate was actually inside this foam and not on the printer. I then removed the vat to remove the protective film on the screen. Note, you want to keep the black tape around the edges. After that, I opened the toolbox, which came with some masks, gloves, a metal and plastic scraper, flush cutters, filters, a USB stick, the power cord, Allen wrenches, and some extra screws, and the manual. Let's jump into the leveling. First, plug in the Saturn and turn it on. Next, click Tools, Manual, and select the 10 millimeter and press the up arrow about seven or 10 times. Before I level it, I wanted to add a flexible build plate. To do this, all you need to do is pull the 3M paper off the back and stick it to the build plate. Then add the flexible build plate on top. If you're curious about the one I bought, I'll throw a link in the description below. Next, place the build plate on the printer and snug the top screw. Then you'll want to place the leveling paper on the screen that they provided. Unscrew the front and side Allen bolts on the build plate so it moves freely. Then in Tools, select Home. From there, you will start slowly lowering the build plate. Once it's touching the paper, move it down 0.1 millimeters until you cannot slide the paper out. Then all you have to do is tighten up the Allen bolts and click back on your screen and select Set Z equals zero. This should save your new home. Let's move on to printing. First, you need to put the vat back on the printer. They have feet and registration holes on the printer to line up and then snug the bolts down. Then grab your bottle of resin and shake it. Once it's thoroughly mixed, fill the vat. This first print was done in Elgu ABS like gray. I tried the preloaded Rook print, but it failed. So I sliced my own model in Chi2 box 1.9 and used my own settings, which the print came out great. I then wanted to print something larger to see what this printer could really do. I found this zombie Captain America over at Chibi STL on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. I printed this model with Elgu Standard Gray. Once done, I removed the supports and sprayed a couple layers of primer over it so you can see the detail. I have to say, this came out amazing. My final thoughts on the Elgu Saturn are very positive. It was easy to level the build plate and with a build volume of 7.5 by 4.7 by 7.8 inches and the 4K mono screen, this is a great printer for the price. Hope this video helped if you were on the fence of buying one. Thanks for watching and happy printing.